Hi everyone, it's Woodcraft by Scott. Thought I'd do a quick video of my latest endeavor. This one just kind of popped up out of nowhere and suddenly I find myself uh, in a great situation where I'm making these silly little golf tee games and uh, they're incredibly popular. I was very surprised. I remember them as a child. If you're familiar with Cracker Barrel here in the United States, they used to have these on the tables before the uh, coronavirus issue. But folks are very familiar with them and they like them. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing with it. So I made a couple of examples and before I knew it, people were requesting them. I'm also gonna start making them for some of the local businesses. I've already gotten orders for a total of 100, and I literally just made the demo dummy ones uh, less than five days ago. So it's quite interesting. Just wanted to do this, uh, show what I've been doing so far. Basically, I'm going to use poplar just like I do for my puzzles, but I'm using a six inch wide or five and a half inch wide board. I've created a template that I will lay out on the board. So they've got two per page. Imagine 10 of those running the full length. And I can get exactly 21 puzzles on each board. And this is a six foot wide, six foot long board. I then cut them using a miter saw. And what I end up with is a stack here. And they are individual. So I do have right here 42 individuals. I just cut two boards and decided to do this video. The next process, of course, is drilling the holes, 15 holes each. The end result, I do sand the edges and the corners. <laughs> More sanding than I do for anything else. I've never sanded any of my actual animal puzzles. Then I take them over here to my laser engraver. And this one just finished a moment ago. I got an order for 20 of these. This is actually step one for this particular item. The infinity symbol with a couple of dog paws and a heart. And then beneath it, it's going to say Orion's Stars. And it's a local animal shelter that helps out uh, older animals and gets them healthy if at all possible. So after the laser engraving, it's a matter of just putting in the golf tees. This is an assortment pack that I was able to get off of Amazon that I've used just to get started. But in the meantime, I have 5,600 golf tees on the way, different colors, different sizes. Some of my clients have asked for certain colors. My real estate agent, Tara English, requested teal golf tees, if at all possible. So I'm gonna mix teal and white. Orion Stars has asked for navy blue and white. And then others for the ones that I'm doing for my local town. Let's see if I've got one here. Um, I do not. Let me just show you the ones that I've done. So I've actually created a couple of others that say Carolina Beach and Curie Beach. Those are the two beach communities here that I live in. And that's what started it all. I started making those and then I started getting requests for others. But I just wanted to show this real fast. Again, from beginning to end, the entire process. Minimal effort, quite honestly. Cutting the triangles takes just a matter of a few seconds each. Drilling takes maybe 30 seconds to a minute per, but it's the laser engraving that takes the longest in that the more complex the image, the longer it takes. But I have uh, gotten my wife to actually take over the laser engraving. So now I've got a helper. Look, there she is. <laughs> so Deborah's helping with this. I got an order of 20 uh, for 20 of those. So we're in the process of making them. But anyway, thought I'd share this. Let me know if you got any questions.